Hey everyone, Jessica back again and today I'd like to cover how to edit the audio and add in captions to your clip. So I have already imported my clip and I've set the start and end times by splitting clips, just the ends. So I'm ready to go. I really like this clip. I just know the audio isn't good and I need a few captions. So to adjust audio, hover your mouse over the, the audio portion of this track, of this clip. So there's really two parts to this clip, the video and the audio at the bottom. So when I hover my mouse over the audio portion, that yellow line there, I can click down with my left index finger and move with my right. So at this moment I have clicked and held it down with my left and now with my right index finger, I'm moving it up and down. So I'll go up to 400% and hope that that's not too loud. We'll test that out. Uh, and that's, that's really all you need to do to edit audio. Frankly, if you need further editing, let me know. We should talk. You would use tools like GarageBand or Audacity to boost the audio further. However, it's not something I would recommend because then you have the added burden of making sure everything matches up perfectly when you're done. So hopefully this cures uh, the problem that you had of, of not hearing clearly what each student is indeed trying to say. So let's go on to number two, adding in titles or captions. So your clip started and right about here a student says something really interesting that you wish could be heard and even after boosting audio it still isn't audible. So let's let's add in a caption. Put your cursor where you want the caption to occur. Click Titles and select a caption piece that isn't distracting. We're not looking for anything cute. Don't do this. We're just looking for something pretty plain Jane that gets the job done. I am going to grab Oh, let's do lower third for now. And we'll just let go. So I'm dragging it where I want it to be. I'll let go. And uh, so I can kind of get an, an idea. It'll play for four seconds. I'll rewind it a little bit. And tap play. Okay, so I would go ahead and try to listen and make sure I was capturing what that student was saying. And to actually put in the text, you click back on the clip or on the um, title I should say and then click over I had to double click on the word name I'll put in my quote with the quote and then I'll get rid of this description I don't need that in there there we go so and if I need it to be longer uh, when I've got this clip highlighted here, I've clicked it, I can just simply drag it. If I'm, I'm hovering my mouse over, or my trackpad, my cursor, over the edge of this transition, or I'm sorry, over the edge of this title, and I'm dragging with my right finger. So I clicked it with my left, and now I'm dragging with my right finger to adjust the length of this title. Um, and so you can keep doing that. If I need another lower third, I can put it anywhere I want, let go, come over here, in quotes, get rid of the description. I guess if I needed to use the description, I could, um, but I don't want to at the moment. So I need to click, again, to do that, you click on the title, and then come over to your clip here and double click in the box that you need to edit. There we go. And you can do other things like adjusting, but you, you want to make sure your evaluator can easily read it since you put the time in to do it. Um, so you can do bolding and some shadowing and stuff like that, but I wouldn't make too much of a fuss. So there you have it. You learned two new things. One, how to adjust the audio in your clip. And two, how to add in titles by dragging something like the lower third to your timeline. And again, when you're done, you click the publish button or share button, file, 
and then make sure your clip is under 500 megabytes. So simplify this down if you have to. Go to low resolution or low quality. Leave it at 720. Do whatever you have to to make sure this is under 500 megabytes. All right, good luck. Enjoy editing your video.